Hi, welcome to Roadkill Art. got that established the next thing I'm going to do will be to skin the otter and for a competition I want to be real precise about where I cut make my cuts so I'm going to do what's called a case skin and that basically would be a trapper skin that would come from the feet and the back of the animal and all my stitching will be from the back. So I try to make my incisions to a exact point. So when I sew everything back up, I know exactly where to sew it. Now try to make sure I make one cut. Help while that's getting started. Yeah, maybe here in a minute. Go ahead and put these on. What do you want me to help you do, you think? You can uh, hold its guts while I skin it. Just trying to get this tail out of the way and get everything working forward. Remember how I told you not to cut yourself? Mm hmm. How? Don't put your finger in front of the knife. <laughs> nah, that's not how you don't cut yourself. How do I? You put your hand under it and you cut towards your finger. You feel it? And I promise you, you won't cut too deep and you'll quit. <laughs> You don't remember that? Mm -mm. I thought I felt you that when you was like four. Probably I don't remember. Okay. So I'm just trying to... What is that? It's his privates. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's cool. He probably don't want you looking at him either. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you go ahead if you feel the need. Here. You want me to hold this side back? Depends on how much you like getting cut. So I have a question. Okay. Since if we're you gonna, do, I've probably got an answer. Okay. So if we're going to cook this, I was looking online at recipes. Mm -hmm. So in the West Coast, they eat sea otter a lot. Mm -hmm. Is that the same kind of otter? No. Does this one live in the land or like no, water here? No, this is a river otter. Okay. Eventually, 
I have to get all this bone out of the feet. But right now, I just want to. The most important thing now is getting salt on this hide. Getting the majority of the meat and fat off. So, in the morning, Solder's feet are webbed. And I'll split that web open and get all the meat out and fat. Some of the stuff you don't cook the meat in, you should. I wonder if you could, well, I guess you couldn't donate it to a school to, like, uh, dissect it. So I guess it has to be fermented first. Fermented? Yeah, right. Where they can... Yeah. Everything we did in school was uh, formaldehyde is already fermented and everything. You ate stuff that was No, dissected them. Oh. Eating, and, and, we dissected cats and cow eyeballs and so I, <coughs> I thought that was toad you dissected. Well, that's Frogs. high school, I guess. Can you hold that? Mm -hmm. Pick it up. I don't know if I can hold on to it. I can't hold on to it. Sure you can. It's like an alligator. You think? Ouch. You're getting carried away now. Just hold his tail. It's too slippery. Do you remember how I showed you the cut? Mm-hmm. Under. How? Well, to, to not cut myself or to... No. To not... What you're actually cutting. So reach down here and get this leg. Can I touch it? A little like above it. A little above my hand. Above my hand. Okay. Let me get the other one. Now? So, that's meat. And that's skin. And what did you say that was? Fascia. And that's where you want to cut. machine to get most of the meat off. What's that? What's what? Fleshing machine. You don't remember the big machine with the blade on it? You said it growing up around this help you doing surgery? Mm-hmm. Well, it helps with the, the smells. They said in school the, the one reason people quit the most is the smell. Did anybody smell like an otter yet? Mm -mm. <laughs> no. But I guess I was pretty much used to it at one time. You remember when I skinned that elk that time I thought it was green? Oh god. You can mount anything 
for anybody, like even the king, the queen, or somebody, who would you mount something for? Jace. Who's that? Jace Robertson. Oh, from the Duck Dynasty. Duck Dynasty, yeah. Like what, a deer or something? Anything you want. He's not a type of person that mounts animals, he mostly eats them. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't mount them because he can't get the meat to eat and feed his family. Mm -hmm. So he would be my choice. Just show him that he could have a mount and still have the meat to feed his family. Yeah, because yeah, he can still mount it and eat it. Cook it. Mm hmm It's a shame we don't have something to marinate it with. Oh, actually, do you have this? Yeah. I've got something to show you. I'll be right back. I don't think it's going nowhere. Okay. You haven't started, have you? No, not okay. yet. I've got Eighth Wonder Spice. I read about it in the North Carolina um, Sportsman Magazine. Mm-hmm. It tells you how to cook it with otter. How to, to cook it with the otter. Never saw any of that. <coughs> they gave me the recipe on, um, it's the Eighth, Eighth Wonder website. Mm-hmm. So all we have to do is marinate it. What is this Eighth Wonder stuff? It, it, it is. It's Eighth Wonder Spice. I saw it on, literally, it was in the North Carolina Sportsman Magazine, and they were saying it was like the best stuff to put on game meat. This and I saw it, it was in our grocery store. Vitamin A and vitamin C. No. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it kidding. does. Read it. Vitamin A, vitamin C. Oh, it does. Calcium. That's good. You have to rub it in really, like, thick. Like, rub it in really thick. Like, rub it in really hard and then make it thick after we do that. The magazine talked about it, and then it was in the grocery store, which shocked me because I didn't think it would be local. You have to rub it in pretty hard to get it on there, like thick. And then we're going to wrap it up and let it marinate. How long do you think? For like an hour? Yeah, a couple hours maybe. Just put it in the refrigerator so it can marinate. Okay. So I decided let's just cook this in the oven like a baked potato. All right. And then you can help me, but let me cut these onions. I found them in the yard, so I want to see what that tastes like. I'll let some wine while you're doing it. Okay. You may need it. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of wine is it? It came from Wood Mill Winery. Red musky down wine. Who was going to come over and, and try this? I'm not sure. There's somebody. <laughs> Hello? I know it's not, it died. We've been cooking this otter for um, about 20 minutes. I'll call you. Otter, right, be ready. Come on and get you some. <laughs> okay. Go down the chill. That's good. It does, doesn't it? You don't get good at <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> this machine is um, it's actually made to thin the skin during the canning process. But I also use it to remove all the fat and meat from the flesh, from the skin. It's called a fleshing machine. Um, some people use draw knives. I use this machine. In thicker skinned animals it's used, like I say, to thin during the tanning process. But I use it both. I'll remove it this way so like 
this is skin and I remove all the meat and fat. Once that's done and it's put into a acid bath, I'll um, I will um, come back and run it on this machine one more time. Something of this nature, this thin skin, I, I don't normally try to thin the skin too much. I just try to get all the meat and fat off. So all I'm going to do now is just remove the portion that I couldn't get with the machine. Um, just do a few little places by hand. Then I'm going to split the eyes, the ears, the lips. And I'm going to remove the nose because this is a going to have a reproduction nose to reduce shrinkage. It will be made of fiberglass. The tan part of taxidermy is absolutely zero art. It's 100% science. There's no art to it. If you don't follow directions, it won't work. Now I just use a shampoo that's got condition on it, heart flow. Just let it drain. When we do, I'm just curious as to how much alterations I'm going to have to do. pretty close fitting. So the next process will just be salting it. Uh, I'll just keep the salt here in this barrel. Just really work it in the skin as good as I can. On the skin side is where I'm actually wanting to get it. Alright, and now I'll just take it out, hang it up, and I'll just let it hang here overnight. And after a little bit, it'll start to drip. The moisture that's in it will start to drip, and it's just removing the moisture. And the salt stops the bacteria, keeps the hair from falling out. If there's anything that dries, shrinks. And if there's any meat left on this, you get excessive shrinkage. And the otter's kind of tough around the face to get all of it off, but you have to get it really thin to keep it off from shrinking on you when you mount it. They've got a real pretty pelt. And on any kind of animal like this, for taxidermy purposes, the whiskers aren't just there. Mm -hmm. They're always there for a purpose and doing things. Attitudes. Right. And they have to be correct when they're mounted. The most common thing for somebody to do would be to take a comb the hair, I mean, yeah, it's just natural instinct to comb the hair like this. But in our reality, the hair sheds water off the skin. And the hair goes down to run the water off the skin. It doesn't go back, it's going to come down. <laughs>
Thank you.